Good morning, good morning, happy birthday. Welcome to the first day of the rest of your life. Because, no, I did that wrong around, didn't I? Morning, morning, morning. Welcome to the first day of the rest of your life. Happy birthday, because every day is your birthday if you choose to celebrate life. And why wouldn't you want to do that? Um, because you're watching me on your device and it's a lovely time to be alive. So today we are going to talk about um, building up, <laughs> learning to fight or run away from that tiger. Um, obviously not a real tiger. It's all about the voices inside your head, your mental um, agility, but also physically to a certain extent as well because of your exercise and so forth. Um, and um, yeah, <laughs> going to talk about that more in a little bit. Uh, but we have a whole bunch of birthdays to catch up on because as you know, you may have spotted, I have not done one of these lives since Saturday. Um, I actually spent all day Sunday, I think it was Sunday, yes it was Sunday, um, with a celebrity chef, uh, Gotlin One. Um, he's on Steph's Pack Lunch and does ITV with um, Bill and Holly in the mornings and stuff. Um, really, really nice guy, uh, has been tagged in this on Facebook and will be tagged on when it goes onto Instagram later on. Um, and um, yeah, we had a really good time chatting and talking about, we did a food festival, obviously he did a food demonstration, but he was there the whole day uh, interacting with the other chefs and so forth. And, and at the end of the day, when everybody else went home, we sat down and had a little chat. And, oh, shape may have been halfway through the day. I'm not sure actually where it was. And I was telling him about what I do uh, and how I do it. Uh, and of course he was giving me some great encouragement about um, stick with it, you'll get there eventually, and how uh, how he was trying to get going in, in his early days and uh, and also was struggling and just had to sort of you know, jobbing kind of presenter every so often uh, and doing things for free uh, just to get going. Um, so that was kind of cool. Um, and then I was talking about um, how I teach people um, mental health stuff so that they can learn to um, improve uh, improve their mental fitness and their mental strength so that they can cope with adversity when it happens. A little bit like what I said, I think it was on Friday or Saturday where I was saying that um, whenever you have adversity in your life, instead of asking yourself, why has this happened to me? Uh, ask yourself, what is this teaching me? What is this preparing me for? What am I learning from this experience so that I can better be prepared in the future? And we're going to talk about more of that uh, during this session. Uh, so thank you very much for that, Gotlin, and uh, lovely to meet you and look forward to um, being in touch for <laughs> the future. Um, but happy birthdays, first of all, for the real people. So uh, we do wish them birthday. We are going to do a, a little breathing exercise in a moment. Um, but happy birthday to Hayley Greaves, who lives just over here. Where are you? You're over there. I walked past your house. Hello. I ran past your house this morning, in fact. So happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Mehdi, uh, Sandy, uh, two Jameses, James McNeil twice. Uh, couldn't work out which one's your current profile. So I've used them both. Um, I hope that's okay. I hope you're well, James. James was the guy I got the, who I originally heard about the idea of verbal Aikido from. Absolutely brilliant concept. It's all about when you're having a discussion with somebody, disagreement with somebody, an argument with somebody, if you like, rather than being all defensive and strong and, and, and fighting back at them, which is kind of what you would do with karate, for example. Lisa, didn't see you at the weekend. What happened? Um, maybe you didn't make it. Maybe you didn't catch me. Maybe I left before you got back. I'm not sure. Anyway, what a shame. Um, we need to get together. Oh, I have an idea about that uh, for the week of the 15th of July. Uh, I've got a barbecue at Dean Close School. Why don't you come along as my guest? Um, so, cool. Um, uh, the... What was I saying? <laughs> uh, oh, verbal Aikido. Oh, sorry about that, Lisa. I was, uh, yeah, I was in the main chef tent. Um, um, I guess maybe we closed up by the time you got, I don't know, anyway, never mind. Um, we'll talk about that later. Not for this pro 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 uh, projection now. Uh, so yes, yeah, so the karate, you have a tendency to block. Um, yeah, I was there all day Sunday until about four o'clock. Um, uh, yeah, so you see block, you block the thing. Whereas in Aikido, what you do is you use the other person's energy against them. Um, and so you'll, you'll pull them and pull them past you. And so that's the sort of thing you'll do. And that's what he talks about with verbal Aikido. Um, <laughs> um, uh, sorry, Lisa's just said that she bought a lot of peanut butter. That's why I was laughing there. Um, for anybody who can't read the comments um, on Instagram and YouTube, for example. Um, these are all on YouTube, by the way. YouTube.com forward slash John V. Denley. Or on Instagram, if you like. Uh, John v, uh, Instagram.com forward slash John V. Denley, of course. Um, uh, yes, so uh, verbal Aikido, you know, use their language against you. Uh, and so uh, you, you roll with the punches and you say, oh, that's a very interesting point. Uh, have you thought about this extra, this 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 uh, side of it? James obviously talks about it a lot better than I do and I haven't talked about it for a while myself, so it's not clear in my mind, but uh, that's James's thing. Uh, and Martin Maunder as well, happy birthday to you too. Um, 
uh, James is Canadian, so he won't see this until later on today. Then for yesterday, I missed the ones for yesterday. Sharon Galway, hello, the lovely, beautiful, gorgeous Sa uh, Sharon Galway. Can't wait to come over to Northern Ireland and spend some time with you and getting to know you. Uh, but I hope you had a lovely day yesterday uh, on your birthday. Uh, Naomi, uh, Peter Simmons, uh, Chris Moore, uh, Jane Propert, um, uh, Dave Surgener. Hope you all had a lovely day yesterday. Uh, and then from Sunday, uh, Annabelle Richmond, um, and the two Adams, <laughs> didn't know you guys were both on the same birthday, Adam Stevens and Adam Brooks. Um, uh, love, love you both in diff very different ways, <laughs> um, <clears throat> but uh, very different people as well, yeah, indeed. Um, but both very good at marketing. There you go. So uh, that both worked, I suppose. Um, anyway, there you go. Uh, happy birthday to all of you people. Quick breathing exercise for those people, and then we'll get into the main topic of today. Um, so what's the one thing you're going to get done today? What's the one thing... Uh, yes, what's one thing you're going to get done today or the next hour? Breathe out the, blow out that candle, that one candle on that finger. <sighs> Breathe in five through your nose. <sighs> Put it down your heart. Hold your breath while you light the candles on your left hand. And then blow out the candles and wish everybody a happy birthday. <sighs> Including yourself, the viewer here, Lisa, particularly today. Um, happy birthday to you, Lisa, because every day is your birthday if you choose to celebrate life. And why wouldn't you want to celebrate life? Great, we're going to get on to the topic of the day. We're a, bit, a, little, a little bit late today, uh, cramming it in a bit. But, um, so, the main thing about this was building up your mental strength. I kind of half did this already. Building up your mental strength so that you're ready to deal with the situations when they occur in the future. You have to put the practice in at the beginning so that when the, the, the danger time comes, when you start to slip down the hill, when you start to feel negative, you've already practiced the, the techniques and the, and, the, and the tools so that you can automatically get them going when you need them without having to think about it. They just become an automatic part of your life. That's what's happened to me now. So when I start to slip down into depression, I can see it and feel it straight away and I can observe it and then I can take care of it and deal with it straight away. Good morning. <laughs> Lady walking dog on the hill. <laughs> um, I need to have a little pile of my little, uh, my cards up there so they can find them. Um, YouTube.com forward slash John V. Denley if you want to see what I'm doing. <laughs> She'll never remember that. Um, uh, Anyway, so yes, so um, you have to put in the effort and work to, to work on the tools, to practice the tools, so that when you come to need them, you've already got them ready and you can put them into place straight away. When I start slipping down into depression uh, and negativity, I can see it coming and I can put into, into action all the tools. Uh, I can do a bit of meditation, I can listen to a bit of music, uh, I can um, spend a bit, of, I can take a bit of time out, um, I can do a bit of mindfulness and observe it and so forth. We're gonna talk about that uh, in a bit. Um, and I can pull myself out of it quite easily. So I, I often talk about how, you know, kind of life is like this and we have our ups and downs, ups and downs and ups and downs. Uh, but if we stop having the ups and downs, we're straight line, we're flat lining, we're deaf. We're going to talk about that a little bit in a minute as well. Um, um, but yeah, so we all have these ups and downs. The, the trick, of course, is to make sure that the downs don't keep going down. Um, and one of the things that Tony Robbins once said to me, which I've always taken on board, which is, if this is your average level of happiness, so you've got good time, bad time, good time, bad time, good time, bad time. If this is your average level. How would it be if you raise that up so that the future bad times are better than what your current good times are? Um, and, and you can do that just by pushing that, pushing that average level up, which is what you do when you learn the 15 pillars uh, of, 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 that are on my Freedom Cube uh, and put those into place. Um, sorry about that, Lisa. You can watch the replay later on. That's fine, no problem at all. And we need to get together um, before I go off to Ulfra Coombe in mid-July. Um, definitely need to do that. Um, cool. Um, so yes, yeah, so you can average, you can push that up by uh, increasing those, uh, those daily habits, which then improves that mental fitness, that mental strength, so that you can um, uh, be prepared for those negative times when they come. This came from Gotlin because he was talking about karate, what you're doing. And I was talking about how I'd heard before about um, when you're a black belt you still do the stuff that you do you learn when you're a yellow when you're a yellow belt or white belt um, you still do the same moves you just do them better and more precisely and more effectively um, and they're more useful going forward um, or you, you work them in a better way I'm not quite sure exactly how that works but um, but you basically you, you still do the same practices you still learn you still do the same routines um, you, you don't but you, what you don't do is you don't teach black belt techniques to white belt um, learners because it's too much for the learners to learn at that point. They have to go through the beginnings, you have to start somewhere. You have to do your first press up before you can do 100 press ups. Um, you have to do one sit up before you can do 100 sit ups, um, all that kind of stuff. Um, and of course, the more sit ups you do, the fitter you become, the more easily you can fight that tiger, um, and, and the more easy or, or, the, or, the, or the faster you can be running away from it. We've got Lynn and I quite j joked about, of course. <laughs> 
uh, if you are running away from a tiger, you don't have to be the fastest person um, in the group. You just, sorry, <laughs> you don't have to be able to outrun the tiger. You just have to be able to outrun another person in the group because the tiger's going to get them and not you. I know it's a little bit of a um, <laughs> kind of a sick joke, but um, but it's true. Um, there's a group of people, um, and you're the you're the one that's fit and, and, he and healthy, and you can run away. And there's somebody who's not very fit and healthy, and and they can't run away, and the tiger gets them. You're going to be safe. They're not going to be safe. But it's their I know it's harsh and so forth, but it's their fault for not putting in the effort to be able to run away, <laughs> to, not, to not putting in the effort to have a healthy life, um, to be able to me be mentally strong, to even see that there's a danger and to run away from it before anybody else, to be aware of it, be aware of your surroundings and so forth, because a lot of people wouldn't even pay attention to it. I'm gonna get onto that in a second as well. Um, so um, <clears throat> one thing I've also been reading this morning is um, 10X, uh, the 10X rule from uh, Grant Cardone. Now, don't get me wrong, I didn't think it was a good idea, but actually when I start reading the book, it makes a lot of sense. He talks about, and, and at the beginning of the book, he actually talks about being extraordinary, you know, putting in extraordinary levels of thinking. Um, but of course, what he, what he points out is extraordinary is relative. Um, it's only extraordinary to you, and only you can consider what's extraordinary to you. Um, because basically you are, your current life is ordinary. It's what you're used to, it's your comfort zone. We've talked about that before. Um, and in order to become something more, become achieve more success, you have to step out of that comfort zone. You have to do something extraordinary outside of the ordinary to be able to stretch yourself, to be able to get to that point. And that's what you're doing when you're learning how to run faster or push up harder or fight harder or whatever. You're doing something extraordinary, doing a bit of extra work now so that in the future you'll be better prepared for the things that happen in the future. Uh, and you get that success um, by stretching yourself and pushing yourself a little bit better to become uh, outside of your comfort zone, pushing that, that level of happiness up higher um, so that you can enjoy life more and be more comfortable uh, and be better able to prepare for it. You, you know, if you, if you lose weight and, uh, and become fitter, then your life is going to last longer. You're going to enjoy your, your, your retirement Welcome better. Welcome home. Time you to work retire. the cardio and then um, jump you know, in the shower. All these shower. kind of things become better and uh, you have, your mindset will be better and therefore you'll be able to deal with the negativity later on. Um, yeah, all, the, all this kind of stuff just becomes better because of that. Um, and then he also goes on to say, which is kind of like a weird thing, which is like success is like a breath of fresh air. Um, <laughs> it's all very well taking one deep breath. breath. We do this with a breathing exercise. That's fantastic. That's really useful. That's fantastic. But it's not as important as the next breath because I can't live on that one breath. I have to take another breath because if I don't take that next breath and that breath's all very well, but it's only as good as that breath. And if I try to live off that breath, I won't survive. I need to take another breath. But that's in the past now. I need to take another breath. But that's now in the past. I need to take another breath. <laughs> and so on and so forth. Uh, so living life is like that. And you can't live life with your, with your last breath. You have to keep taking more breath. Because otherwise, you become flatline. You become death. You, you, you die because you can't, you can't survive. Your heartbeat. Beep, beep, beep. Beep, the heartbeat keeps going. If your heartbeat stops, beep, you're dead. If you stop breathing, beep, you're dead. Um, so life is like that, all ups and downs, um, and you have to keep pushing. No, you don't have to push yourself, but the best way to enjoy life is to keep stretching yourself so that you're uh, achieving more stuff um, and not feeling dead inside, like life isn't worth living, like there's nothing worth living for, there's just nothing going on, um, you're just going through the routines, it's boring, it's, <laughs> I mean, if you love that, fantastic, crack on, but most, for most people, that's not a life, that's not living, that's not enjoying life, that is, well, it's not enjoying life, is it? It's just living life, um, and there's a big difference between those two things. And it's the same with relationships too, I'll pop in that just quickly there as well. Uh, in relationships, you have to keep putting the effort in over time because you can't just live off how the relationship was at the beginning. You have to evolve. You have to grow together. You have to build a life together to be able to make a successful relationship. Otherwise, you end up drifting apart. You want different things. Maybe this person doesn't want to move forward and this person does move forward. And then you've got a whole big problem going on in your hands there. So I'm running out of time already. <laughs> just wanted to go on to one thing about mindfulness, which I heard on a meditation thing. And I'll talk on that more on this tomorrow. Um, but... Uh, there's three ways of our minds. We have a want, we want something like a cake. We reject something like a mosquito, go away. Uh, we zone out um, like a boring lecture or something. But when we bring in mindfulness and meditation, we can observe without uh, judgment. Um, and so we can 
Uh, and that's a classic thing, like an itchy nose or my itchy leg, for example, I can just go, oh, I've got an itchy leg, and not do anything about it. And I can observe it. Uh, and that's mindfulness meditation stuff going on now. We'll talk about that in a future one. That's all from me for now. Hopefully I haven't run over my 15 minutes because I do hate editing, editing these for Instagram. Sending you love. Uh, have a lovely day, lovely Tuesday, uh, and I'll see you soon. Bye.